A study presented at this week's American College of Cardiology meeting called the ABSORB trial focuses on a new type of heart stent that eventually gets absorbed by the body. We've been looking at bioabsorbable bio stents. We've been thinking about bioabsorbable stents for about uh, 20 years, as a matter of fact. It's been difficult to find the right polymer that will be absorbed without causing a reaction in the artery to, to find the right drugs to put on that polymer that would uh, help us maintain a good opening inside the arteries. It happens to be a drug-eluting stent, but while the metallic drug-eluting stents stay in the artery forever and are predisposed to clotting off long-term down the road, this biodegradable stent is eventually fully absorbed, leaving only a healed, natural vessel behind, one that can't clot off because of the stent. We need longer-term outcomes, but the work is very promising and these uh, studies now are being planned and we will have results of these larger studies in, I expect, very short time. There is another important study out, also at the ACC meeting, which found that one of the statin medicines called Crestor not only lowers cholesterol, but also stop the early changes in blood vessel walls that lead to their thickening and promotion of artery blockage. This is an important study because it looked at the uh, buildup of plaque uh, measured using a simple ultrasound test done through the uh, neck, through the skin, uh, looking at the artery in the neck. And it showed that we were able to, with a statin drug, reduce progression of that disease in the patients who were treated with the statin drug. Atherosclerosis is often advanced before symptoms appear, and it hasn't been clear whether treatment is beneficial in middle-aged individuals with a low overall risk. The findings show that the benefits of cholesterol management on arteries can be extended to low-risk patients and may impact their health long-term. The key, getting on one, whether it's the drug studied or another, and sticking with it. There is a difference between statins, so it's important for you not to give up if one statin doesn't seem to be working for you, but to consider the other options available. I'm Dr. Mike Rosen.